to fully enjoy this video, please turn on CC closed captions. Listen. Learn. Enjoy. Embark on a journey into the foggy city of Spirit Valley, where shadows whisper secrets and mysteries unfold. Join renowned scientist Professor Adrian Marlowe as he receives an unexpected delivery that spirals into a tale of parallel worlds, twisted reflections, and the battle between chaos and order. In the foggy city of Spirit Valley, where shadows whispered secrets and mysteries unfolded, lived a renowned scientist named Professor Adrian Marlowe. He lived in an old mansion filled with his carefully curated collection of artifacts and antiques. Suddenly, Professor Marlowe received an unexpected delivery to his mansion, one that would alter the course of his life. Two delivery men stood on his front step with a mysterious mirror in their hands. Before Professor Marlowe uttered a word, the delivery men burst into his home, and they placed the mirror in his living room. Afterward, the delivery men frantically rushed out the front door. Professor Marlowe curiously gazed at the mirror's ornate frame and its otherworldly allure captivated his attention. A small, elegant gift tag accompanied the mysterious mirror, signed with an enigmatic message, The Other You. As Professor Marlowe admired the mirror, his reflection shifted, revealing a parallel spirit valley. The city was shrouded in an eerie crimson mist, and the inhabitants moved in an unsettling harmony. Buildings whispered forgotten tales, and the air crackled with an otherworldly energy. In the mirrored reflection, Marlowe encountered his doppelganger, a twisted version of himself driven by a relentless pursuit of forbidden knowledge. Doppelganger Marlowe, smirking, ah, the esteemed Professor Adrian Marlowe from another reality. How fascinating to meet the other me who unknowingly paved the way for my enlightenment. Professor Marlowe cautiously approached the mirror, eyes locked in an intense gaze. Professor Marlowe, intrigued, enlightenment? What have you done to Spirit Valley? This is not the city I know. Doppelganger Marlowe, chuckling, Oh, my dear counterpart, I've merely liberated this city from the shackles of chaotic emotions. Behold, the perfect harmony that ensues. As he spoke, Doppelganger Marlowe gestured towards the eerily synchronized inhabitants, moving with an unsettling precision. Professor Marlowe, concerned, Harmony? This is a mockery of reality. Emotions are what make us human. You can't control them like puppets. Doppelganger Marlowe, smirking, can't I? Watch and learn. With a wave of his hand, Doppelganger Marlowe summoned a spectral figure, a manifestation of pure fear. The figure gazed into Professor Marlowe's eyes, sending shivers down his spine. Professor Marlowe, struggling to maintain composure, this. This is unnatural. You can't play with people's emotions like this. Doppelganger Marlowe, leaning in, but think of the possibilities, Adrian. No more wars fueled by anger, no more heartbreak from love. A society guided by reason, not by the chaotic whims of emotion. Professor Marlowe, defiant, a society without emotion is no society at all. It's a soulless existence. I won't let you impose this twisted utopia on the city I call home. Doppelganger Marlowe, raising an eyebrow, and what will you do, my naive counterpart? Destroy the mirror and plunge both cities into chaos? Professor Marlowe hesitated, torn between the desire for order and the recognition of the inherent beauty in the unpredictable dance of emotions. The fate of Spirit Valley hung in the balance as the two Marlowes engaged in a battle of words, their contrasting philosophies echoing through the mirrored reflection, both seeing each other through the mystical antique mirror. Professor Marlowe, firmly, I won't let you manipulate Spirit Valley into a soulless existence. Emotions, for all their chaos, define our humanity. I choose the beauty of the unpredictable over your sterile utopia. Doppelganger Marlowe, smirking, you're a sentimentalist, Adrian. The unpredictable beauty you speak of is the root of all suffering. I offer a chance for a better world, free from the burdens of emotion. Professor Marlowe, defiant, a world devoid of emotion is not better, it's a lifeless void. I won't be part of extinguishing the very essence that makes us alive. The tension in the mirrored reflection escalated as the two Marlowes stared each other down, the fate of Spirit Valley hanging in the balance. 
the small, elegant gift tag held the weight of a monumental choice. Doppelganger Marlowe, mocking, so be it, naive counterpart. Choose chaos over order and watch your version of Spirit Valley crumble. With a sinister smile, Doppelganger Marlowe faded from the reflection, leaving Professor Marlowe alone with the antique mirror and the weight of his decision. Despite the fake fog, the city of Spirit Valley is not soulless, said Professor Marlowe as he placed the mirror in his gallery. It fits perfectly, said Professor Marlowe. It was as if the mirror was destined to hang on that spot on the wall. That's because it belongs there, said the faint voice of Doppelganger Marlowe from inside the mirror, followed by a wicked laugh. Another fascinating antique, said Professor Marlowe as he adored the mysterious mirror that he'd forgotten he ordered from a magical website the same as all of his magical artifacts and antiques. Do you believe the events in this story or does Professor Marlowe simply have a magical overactive imagination? I'll let you decide. Engage with our captivating content. Your engagement makes this storytelling experience even more immersive. If the parallel worlds and doppelganger twist had you on the edge of your seat, hit that like button. Show some love for the intricate storytelling and the atmospheric setting of Spirit Valley. Share your thoughts on the moral dilemma faced by Professor Marlowe and the clash of philosophies in the comments, chaos or order, what's your choice? Share this video with your friends, family, and fellow mystery enthusiasts to build a community of like-minded storytellers. Don't miss out on the next story by hitting that subscribe button and by ringing the notification bell. Thanks for watching.